Hey guys, welcome back to Civilization VI Gathering Storm as Christina of Sweden. We are still at war with her, but I think we're going to go ahead and just take a look and see if we can't just make peace with her. I just don't see any reason to continue. Okay, so we can't. So we would have to probably go offensive with her, but as long as it's not affecting our cities, it's not affecting anything else in the game, it's not affecting any grievances because we don't have any then there's no need for us to really worry about it. So she's at war with Dido and the Mari and Suleiman along with us. So could we get Hungary involved in this war? That'll put more pressure on her. See, so make a deal. Let's see, join ongoing war. And that would be with Eleanor. Defensive pact, formal war. Would he do it? Yeah, for one gold? Yes. Absolutely. So now we'll get him involved in the war. So now she'll have yet another target on her back. Yeah, so we could even ask the Mari for the heck of it. Why not? Well, now, uh, well, we can just see. Just out of curiosity, let's check and see if we can get the Mari involved here. Make a deal. And no. He won't do it okay so that leaves us with um, who was it I think that was everybody right she's at war with a lot of people uh, so the only person left would be with um, Manasa let's see if he would do it well you know make a deal Ongoing war. Eleanor. <laughs> and he'll do it for one gold. So, sure. <laughs> now we have everybody against her. Okay. So that'll make her think about things. As a matter of fact, oh, I was going to grab that unit there from her. So now she's got uh, quite a few people breathing down her neck. And that is okay with me. Now... In our last video, you will recall that we had used our policy that allowed us to get that additional niter. So we can't upgrade now. I guess like we're just going to be able to do the one unit there, and that's fine. And we got our balloon heading down towards this way. So I'm really satisfied with that. So let's go ahead and do our next turn. And, yeah, we'll go ahead and change policy now. It just doesn't really make a difference. All right, so... We're not trading internationally. Or just with one unit. So, let's see. Military Academy of Seaports give us science. Amenities... With garrison units, we can do... Well, actually, you know what? Let's go back to our science and engineering. Yeah, we're doing good on gold. I mean, we can't really do a whole lot of upgrading at the moment because we're going to need additional material, like oil, for example, up here. And we're going to need refining... So you're like, okay, so you got to decide, you know, do you want to go with uh, steel or do you want to go with refining? So you got to make up a decision, but these do require oil. So we would need oil either way. And she does have, well, she had oil, so we grabbed this city from her, which was a good move for us to do. And I really don't want to go on, on an offensive with her with just musket men. I mean, we could try. So we can do that. So let's go ahead and form up our guys going up this way. So we're going to need you. We're going to need you. So we're going to put you here. And we're going to put you over here. And we're going to need the balloon to join this guy. So let's just move you here. And the balloon can go here. And we'll, we'll join all those guys up. We're going to need at least another musketman, which we will... Probably pull from where exactly? From right here? 
So let's go ahead and start moving him up that way. And you can harass. I don't want to get too close to that city. So let's... We can't pillage? Oh, we got to... Maybe on the next turn. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. We are in between two cities. Let's uh, post up here and see. Alright, so let's see what we can make here in Stockholm. And maybe use these builders for stuff. Let's see. We could get a stock exchange built as quickly as we can get it. So let's go ahead and use one. We'll go ahead and use two. I don't... Well, I might want to save some jungle for... Yeah. Yeah. Let's save some jungle for uh, wonder or something else. But for right now, let's do a little switching around. We've already moved our units here. All right, so you're the one who's going to get the balloon. You're going to have the general for the additional bonus. Okay, next turn. You are waiting for the balloon. And I don't see the balloon at the moment for some reason. But we're going to move you right to there. And you're going to come to right over here. Although we are going to move the... Oh, here's the balloon. Really? Wait a minute. Okay, that's really annoying. Here, let's cancel. Uh, we were already on top of the balloon. Go figure, right? And let's... Um... No, actually, we don't want to attach it to that. We'll switch all that around here in a minute. Oh, we can't... We can make the... Um open air museum but I think that um, yeah let's go ahead and make the open air museum two food one production two more absolutely and it's going to give us air score four air score oh man that is phenomenal that's going to put us at 130 and now we got just like a cluster bunk up here we're going to have to clear all that out that is just straight up annoying we're just going to skip all these guys until I can clear them all out so, next turn. Uh-oh. She is coming towards our guy. Let's see if he can withstand it. I'm glad he's a core. Man, that's, a, that's some serious abuse, but he should be fine. Yeah, he's fine. That'll give her something to think about, and then we can just scoot right on out of there. It's no big deal. We could actually, I think we could, no, we're not going to stay there. We're going to get out of there. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to get her diamonds. It's not even worth it. She is getting some major heat over here from Dido and from Molly. So that's great. That is fantastic. But I want to take these cities up here if we can get them. But you'll see, even with musket men and bombards, it could potentially be a issue. As a matter of fact, where is our... Siege tower. Oh, we know what we changed. Did we change the siege tower? And no, we didn't change the siege tower. Here's the siege tower right here. See, it upgrades to a medic, but I'm not going to want to do that. All right, so we'll just put you to sleep, and just keep you. Well, we could build some of those. Uh, Build some of the um, open air museums here. That is awesome. Look at that. Look at all that culture. Wow. That is a lot of culture. Okay, let's see if we can't untangle this nonsense. So, the general, we're going to put you with this unit. And the medic will keep with this unit. Are they together? They are. You are going to go here and connect with this unit. And then we're going to move that way. Okay, and we're just going to bring the siege tower along with us as part of uh, the assault. So, we got that aligned the way I want it. And, okay, you will s stay here. And you will stay here. And skip. And skip. And let's see, can we make any more of those over here? What? Let's see. Man, I really would like to be able to take advantage of 
some of these buildings over here, but it's just too dangerous for them to do anything. Guess we could make another farm right here. And we're going to get you out of here, so let's do that. That doesn't mean that, they, that this unit can't come after us, but that's okay. And then here we have some an envoy. So we'll just see if we can't push towards Preslav. And Amani should be... Oh, yeah, we had to move Amani. She went back to Brussels, so... We're just 7 of 7 in Brussels. I think I do want to move her back to Preslav. I really do. Let's do that. That seems kind of strange, but it, it's... it's. We need to move her to Breslov. That's just all there is to it. Even if we use... Even if we lose Brussels, that's fine. I mean, yes, it's nice having Brussels, but we can get Brussels back by virtue of envoys. Even though we did just use them now for Brussels. But that's okay. It's no big deal. And we got an amenities problem, which isn't surprising. So that's a district that we may have to think about. And we're just going to keep these guys here. As a matter of fact, it looks like there has been some really nice pillaging going on over here. So just as a test, let me just kind of show you guys, like, what you could expect, like, damage from a 59 city against a musketman. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we won't lose the musketman in the experiment, but we kind of want to see what we're going to be up against up here. Because this is a 58 city, and that's a 68 city. And I would just be much more comfortable having infantry... But we're not going to be able to work the oil until um, until we get to refining. But let's just see what happens. We might lose that night. Oh boy, we're just going to save him. Just going to save him. Now let's see how much damage we're going to take. So that's that's the yeah okay. That's not bad. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But um. We're going to move him back. There's no need to take any kind of risk and be silly about this, but I just wanted to get a feel for it. But then we are playing on King difficulty, so that might be why I'm a little, I had that trepidation. Because on higher difficulties, a 59 city against a musketman is going to be just, that's almost like, it'd do like almost 76 damage, I think, somewhere in there. If I'm not mistaken, or it could do a pretty considerable amount of damage to a unit. Maybe a single unit would be 75. So maybe as much as, uh, you know, 25 with that unit. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to drive all these guys in, and we're going to go after this city first. So we're just going to, you know, move all these guys in, get them positioned and ready, get you completely out of the way, like that. And we're going to get you back over here on our territory. Okay. And let's see. So we're going to have a musketman or two musketmen or a musketman. There's one here. And we just upgraded that bombard. That is a single unit bombard. Everything else is a core. And we probably overdid it with the bombards. But, I, you know, it's always nice to have them. So let's go ahead and do our next turn now. And we'll uh, hit this uh, guy here with our Bombard. And we should be able to launch with our um, encampment as well. So we do have an amenity problem. So I may get one of these cities to make an um, entertainment district. Maybe even Stockholm. It'll reach a wider city. Is he one, two, three? One, two, three, four. All right, so there's... Um, is that replaceable parts? Yes, replaceable parts. So you are going to go right to here. Because what we want to do is we actually we want to avoid this encampment if possible. So all these guys are going to come like this. You're going to come over here. And we can upgrade. So if we can upgrade this guy, we will. And yeah, we should be able to... Uh, Hit this guy a couple times, which will send send it back probably. Once we hit it with a bombard, it'll definitely get their attention. 
There we go. That got their attention. All right, so here's our trade route. We can go to Rapa Nui? Sure. Yeah, we can do that. That will give us some uh, additional envoy points. So there we go. Very nice. You uh, are going to just rest up. Because we're going to have to take advantage of what oil we do have at the moment. And upgrade our units over here. But, of course, we're going to want to upgrade with the bonus policy. <laughs> I guess it'd be kind of funny to see something here. But, um... Anyway, so let's go back here and... What was it called again? It's called, uh, yeah, Force Modernization. Okay. Well, let's see. We'll go here and replace it with Great Engineer. Now, let's just see something out of curiosity. 515. And so we're definitely going to upgrade. And we got two more Aeroscore. Awesome. Are we able to upgrade this guy? Not on this turn. But uh, I feel better now that we have infantry. I mean, we would have been fine with the musket men, but it's always good to have that. And I don't know if I want to... I don't see any point in upgrading that unit. And now we're losing gold. I want to upgrade our more important units, which we will do, of course, but... Uh, Mari guy's over there, so we're just going to leave him here. We could upgrade the crossbowman. That's not going to take any resource. Alright. And we got housing issues, and we got some alliances that are over with. So let's go back and take a look at those real quick, because we're going to want to get those going. So before we do that, of course, we always want to check and see who's leading and what. And let's see, Suleiman. All right, so he's not really, well, diplomat religion. He's kind of high in religion, but... we got here and declare friendship huh. all right so he's happy with that alliance and we'll do culture with him and will he pay us hmm. we could use some gold so we can take a look at that but what I'm gonna do is in between videos I will do I'll go through and do the micromanaging of the cities and we'll, we'll I'll take care of all that gold stuff so you guys don't have to sit through that but we will take one gold for that absolutely and let's see. Let's get our friendship going here. And we'll do a, uh, we'll just do research. And see if he'll pay us. He will. Alright, so he'll do three gold per turn. And we'll take that three gold per turn. That should put us in the positive or at zero as far as gold is concerned. And the Mari. Ha! He's happy with that. And we can do an economic, which is very nice. Will he give us gold? He will. I don't know if he'll give us five. He will. So we're going to want to get as much as we can. So seven. So six. Five. Okay, five is good. We'll take five. And then, of course, in between... Um, Video clips here. I will uh, we'll do, do some more wheeling and dealing. But yeah, we're negative five in gold loss, actually. So, all right. I think everyone has moved that can move. Let's just back you up one, just in case this cavalry decides to do something unusual. And it looks like, all right, because we upgraded... The um, unit disappeared on us. Or, I mean, we didn't connect it. So, let's protect you like this. And just do that for now. And I do like using the siege towers because it will come in handy. Does she even have... Yeah, she does have walls. So, we're going to go after this city right here first. And we're going to probably do it from this side right here. Like, park the... the uh, mil uh, 
the melee unit here and in the two range units right here and we will have the balloon so we could probably attack from over here so that'll come in handy all right let's go ahead and get refining and we will get yeah let's go ahead and get mobilization that's going to give us the additional spy no not spy well we can form form armies yeah Okay, so we'll do that. And next turn. And yeah, let's go ahead and get a farm here. And just Well, we can get a uh, open air museum. We'll do that. Man, that is some awesome culture. That is amazing culture. We should probably make a few of those, I guess, because we're doing fine over here. I do want to work this hill. All right, so next turn. All right, we can take this guy out with the musket men, and we will do that. I'm surprised she's actually... Oh, you want to go after my musket men? Okay, sure. You can do that and die. And she didn't move this guy at all. Some uh, holy war going on over here. Yeah, I got Zoroastrianism. Yes, we can be friends. Absolutely. Interesting. I thought we had reached out to him and done that, but I guess not. Well, I'm glad he reminded us. Yeah, that's the holy war that's going on over there. All right. Here's another observation balloon. We actually don't need another one. So let's send you all the way over here. No, actually no. Here. Doggone it, I can't move the screen down. There. I want to send you over here. There. I'm going to send you down there. Great experience for us. And let's see. Yeah, we don't want to upgrade you to a medic. <coughs> we'll just go ahead. Yeah, we'll just move you in. We'll just move you like to right here and then we'll heal up before we make that attack. You are going to gain sources and stay in the city for vision. The balloon will still serve for us. As a matter of fact, why didn't it allow us to upgrade this guy? We're in our area. That's a little concerning. All right, you can... Let's see... Aerodrome. What are we low on pop? Yeah, we're low on pop. So let's get you some food. Let's see. 39. 43. Only one turn difference for that. So that's not worth it. Well. Let's get you a factory then, I guess. Housing is good, so let's get you a factory. You can always make a sewer later if necessary. Oh, wait, amenities. Could you have made some amenities? No, wouldn't have been a good spot. All right, what city is this? This is our Uppsala city. How are we doing in... Oh, wow, we got a lot of stuff. Okay, so archaeological museum... Yep. Archaeological Museum. And then you down here. <clears throat> wow, we don't even have a theater square? Oh, we do have an aerodrome, though. 
but I don't think you'd be able to make cities very or aircraft very quickly. Let's get you a theater square. Absolutely, because those are bonuses for us as um, Sweden. All right, guys, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I want to thank all you guys for your likes, shares, and comments. Thank you so much for being so supportive of the channel. I really appreciate all your guys' um, uh, efforts here to make this all possible and to produce these videos. It's really appreciated. So if you guys have friends that are interested in Civilization VI, by all means, feel free to share these videos. And uh, right now, as you see appearing there on the screen, that will be the channel icon. If you haven't subscribed, I would encourage you to do so, along with clicking that notification bell so you guys will know when the next video is available. And I will see you guys in the next video.